Hello, wildlings. I'm your creep smith, and you found my fear forge. <laughs> Lucky you. Welcome back, wildlings. And once again, we find ourselves on the eternal hunt. While hard to find, the item described by this ritual is but one of two and a half thousand items, each of which carries a power and a curse. Items so terrible they've become whispered legend among the broken and the lost, as have those who seek them and those who hold them. Collectively, they are chronicled in the Holders series, and this is number 5 of 538, Light. In any city, in any country, go to any halfway house or mental institution that you can get yourself to. When you reach the front desk, close your eyes and ask to visit someone who calls himself the Holder of Light. You will be guided to a single door leading to a long, winding hallway. Then you will be told to open your eyes. The hallway will be in complete darkness, narrow enough only for you to feel the walls and navigate yourself forward. If at any time along the way the lights should come on, shut your eyes immediately and make your way back to the door that you came in through. If your eyes stay open for more than a second, what you will see will force you instinctively to tear them out. If, however, the lights stay off, you will make your way to the end of the hall. There will be another door. If there is a light from under the door, leave immediately. What you came for is not there. If there is no light from under that door, carefully turn the handle and enter. This room will be completely dark aside from the lone candle in the center of the room. What little light it brings reveals an outline of a cloak hovering over it. The man underneath the cloak is completely still. If you say anything, he will tear out your eyes and devour your soul, and you will be forced to take his place under that cloak for the rest of eternity. There's only one question that the man will respond to. What can protect us from them? If you proceed to ask this question, and only this question, a piercing scream will ring out from the candle and a series of lights will illuminate the room, revealing images of the most horrifying thoughts, fantasies, and memories from all consciousness throughout history. Most people cannot handle this event and will go insane or die instantly. However, if you should somehow manage to survive this intact, the man in the center of the room will rise slowly and put his hands to either side of your head you will be forced to look at his face. It appears young, with the exception of two large cavities where his eyes once were. At this point, you must not look away, or you will be forever forgotten to time. He will then open your right hand and place a small, round object into it. You will be left feeling no pain, but the horrifying images will be burned into your memory for the rest of your life. The eye that you hold in your hand is Object 5 of 538. Their awakening has begun, and they must not be brought together. So remember, wildlings, it's not a weakness to consider whether what you're looking for is really what you want. Stay scary, and make the most of your nights.